everybody, it's Susan. I'm in my studio today and I have a haul to share. The first thing I want to share is my I Am Roses order. Um, I placed an order with Boonma and somehow the system burped and she got my money but she didn't get my order. So I got an email from her the following morning um, asking me if I could email her my order and telling me to pick out a free gift. Well, for my inconvenience. Well, I wasn't inconvenienced. So, um, I got my order yesterday, so I'm going to share it with you. These are the S10-15 flowers. Am I going just a little there? There you go. And these are the small white ones, and I really like these. These will be fun for flower centers and for midi books. So I got those. I also got some white cherry blossoms, and these are the... S3-152, and I'll hold those so you can see those. Those are really pretty. Those will be fun to color. And then the reason that um, I made the order was I didn't have any regular size leaves. I've got the little leaves. I didn't have any of the regulars. So I ordered these, and they're nice leaves. They're easy to color, and they come in little bundles. So I got those, and then I've been looking at... The other roses, the new roses she came out with, with for quite a while, so I ordered some of these. And these are the pale yellow ones with the champagne tips, and they are so pretty. So I got some of those. So then when my order came, because I had told Boonma not to worry about the burp in the system, that it was no big deal, and she didn't need to send me any kind of a free gift. It wasn't an inconvenience, but she sent me anyway the small flowers with and these are the pink and white and you guys those are so stinking pretty and she sent me the whole pack of them and these are the S10-32's so Boonma if you happen to see this thank you very much for your generosity and you guys um, if you haven't ordered from Boonma that's why a lot of us do business with her is because she is that committed to her customer service you will not be disappointed Okay, and also, um, yesterday was the annual 141 sale here in my area, and what that is, is Perry is situated on Highway 141, and the 141 sale is about 100 miles of garage sales, and they all do it the same day, or the same weekend, obviously. <clears throat> so my sister and I went out and did some garage sailing, and I found some really cool stuff, so I'm going to share that with you. First thing I found, and probably my best buy of the day, you guys, I have looked and looked and looked at these. This is a Dynamo laser tag printer, and I've been wanting one for a long time, and it works. I tried it. It has fresh batteries and a full white paper tape in it, so I'm good to go. I've got my Dynamo label maker. Paid $4 for it, and I picked up some linens while I was out perusing. Here's a nice big one that I got. I'm going to tip this up a little. Um, I have lots of, of linens like this and in doilies and hand, hand done things, but all the ones that I have are from family and I really don't want to cut those up. So whenever I go to garage sales or auctions or whatever, I keep my eyes out for these. Because in my area, we can pick these up really cheap. I think I paid 50 cents for this. And it's nice and big and round, and it has lots of cool trim on it that I can cut up because, you know. And I got this one. And this one will be fun. And a tip for you guys on these, if you're going to cut these into pieces, before you cut it, decide where you want to cut, whatever part of it, and glossy accents wide enough so that you can cut over the glossy accents after it dries and these won't fray. If you have fray check you can use that. If you don't have fray check just use your glossy accents and your Scotch quick dry adhesive will also work for that. And I got this and this is actually a pair that match because these are covers that would go on a man's armchair to keep the arms of the chair clean. So I picked up those. They have a really nice pattern as well. And then this one matches those. So I picked this one up. 
And I got this nice big one too. So I got that one as well. Really pretty. And then I found this really nice piece of handwork. And what this is is a table runner. It's got, let me show you here. You can see the cut work there. Really, really pretty. And there's really nice trim on the edge. And this one just happens to have a hole right here, so I won't feel bad cutting this up and reusing it. So I got those. I also got this. I'll show you this. This is kind of fun. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with this yet. It's a giant telephone, and it is an address book. See? And I haven't decided if I'm going to use it for an address book. These um, dividers are real heavy cardstock. And they're in fun, fun, bright colors. You can see the colors across the bottom. So I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this and use this for an address book or if I'm going to tear out all of the extra pages and turn this into a great big mini album of some sort. So I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. And one of the favorite things that I found yesterday, let me tip up just a little bit more, I found this set of clear glass jars and I think I paid four dollars for all three of these and they are really really cool um, I got these two at one sale and I got this one at a separate sale haven't decided yet if those are going into my studio or if those are going into the bathroom because I could just see like q-tips cotton balls and something pretty in this one so I haven't decided yet I am going to alter them a little bit either way and I will be showing you how to do some uh, stamping with your archival inks on these. So I picked those up. And I was really happy to find this too. And if you look, it looks very similar to the Seven Gypsies um, trays, except for this one is longer. And this is an antique. This is, came out of an old desk somewhere, and you can see that I paid two and a half dollars for it. So, and I haven't cleaned it up yet, guys. Sorry, it needs scrub good. See if I can get some of the dust and dirt off of it. But that will be really fun to alter. And I picked up some boxes. I got this nice cigar box here, and this is an older one. I don't know how old. I don't think that it's dated anywhere, um, but I know that it's pretty old because the cigars that were in it cost 10 cents a piece, and I've, I've got it full of things. We'll go through that stuff in a minute. And I also picked up a wooden ginseng tea box, and you can see out in my area, like this, this cigar box I think I paid a quarter for. This one, this wood box, I paid 50 cents for. Out here in the Midwest, for the most part, these old boxes don't go for much. This one's got a divider. If you want to put a divider in it, I'll probably just throw that away. It's just a balsa box that I now have that I can alter. So that'll be fun. And, oh, I picked these up. Let me take a few out. We're always looking for the, um, the baseball card sleeves. And I actually got these from a scrap lady that does scrapbooking, and she had a bunch of extra. So I got this whole big pack, just a huge stack of them, for a quarter. So these will be great to store my small stamps in, and I am going to be sending some of these to Jill. Oh, there's Jill. Here's a big surprise, isn't it? Um, she does couponing, and she would like to have some for her coupon stash. So I'm going to share those with her. And I picked up a Webster's Dictionary. I don't know what year this was printed, but it's very old. The paper's really the thin, nice, kind of waxy paper. So this will be lots of fun to cut up and use in my projects. And I picked up this mirror. And it's you can see it's in a deep frame, but it's even deeper than it looks. If you peel back this part, see there's another half inch back here. So I can take the mirror out and set it back flush with this. Or I can take it out completely. I haven't decided. But this will be fun to 
distress and alter and turn into something fun. And that I'm planning to do, um, keeping in mind that I think I'd like to use that someplace in my house. I want to start doing more home decor projects. I really don't do a lot. And the few that I have done have always left. <laughs> I never end up with them. So I'd like to do, do more for my house. And same with this. This is an old... Um, an old child's chalkboard and it's pretty heavy I think that's real slate in there because this this weighs some weighs a little bit I'm gonna alter this and this is actually gonna go in my kitchen and I don't know if I'll hang it this way or if I'll hang it this way but either way and you can see I paid a whole dollar for it and again it needs to be scrubbed up but I can take care of that and I bought this old basket um, just a plain old rat and basket but it was kind of cool it's got the leather handles it's by no means an antique but I liked it and these you guys were really interesting to me what these are I'll show you these one at a time what these are are old advertisements and they're not reproductions it says right on the back that this is not a reproduction and it goes on blah 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 um, this particular advertisement is from 1901 and it's a Walter Baker and Company co cocoa. And it's sandwiched between two thin pieces of glass. And then it's got the equivalent of foil tape sealing that off. And I thought those were fun. I thought those would be cool to put on a mini book cover or on a page or maybe on one of my altered home decor projects. I don't know. I just thought they were neat and unusual. And here's another one. And this one is from 1911. It's the same thing. This one's Nux Gelatin. Obviously, you can see that. But they've just got the cool old-style graphics. And they're just nice looking. So, And I think I paid a quarter for both of these. So, yeah, it'll give you an idea of what we pay for things like this out here in the sticks. And then I found this little plastic frame. Nothing fancy about that. But, again, it can be altered. And these frames I got... And these are extremely old frames. They say made in Italy on the back. I'm going to zoom in on this so you can get a good look at it. They've got kind of cute pictures in it. I'm going to have to tip that a little bit so you can see the whole thing. There you go. And it's brass. And you can see they're very ornate, very decorative. These, I got two of these. I've got one for myself, and I'm going to send the other to Jill. And I think I'm probably going to put this on the cover of a mini. Um, maybe a Christmas gift I've got planned. I haven't decided for sure. And again, I paid 25 cents a piece for these old frames. But I liked them. And then you guys, <laughs> and nobody's allowed to laugh at this, even though it is funny. I have to admit it's funny. I found one lady that had clothespins, the old wooden clothespins for sale. And these are fun. You guys have seen other people do it to wrap your ribbon on or lace trims or whatever when you're gifting. So I've got, I've got plenty because this little bag here of clothespins was tucked inside this huge bag of clothespins. So I think I've got plenty of those for a while. And believe it or not, these are hard to find here. I paid a quarter for all of those, but you don't find them very often because the ladies that like that style use them, and I don't know where the rest of them went. I also found this little silver spoon. I think this I'm going to use on my chalkboard project. Um, it was cute. It's kind of beat up, and it was never good silver to start with, so I don't have to feel bad about beating it up more. You can see it. the silver plate has worn off. But I picked that up just for fun. And then I got um, a variety of little tiny <coughs> things. I got just some bling in a bag. So I grabbed that. I got this little pen here. I'm going to put these down and I'm going to zoom in so you can get a look at these. Okay. <clears throat> That's a little brooch that I picked up. And... You know, I can color this with alcohol ink. I can paint it with some um, acrylic paint. Anything like that will work. So I picked that up. I also picked up this pendant necklace. 
right here. I think I'll probably take this off and use it for a charm on a mini. And I found this bracelet and it has the matching earrings and this was neat. I really like the beads on this. They're really pretty black glass beads. <clears throat> so I went ahead and decided I'd get that. And I also got this. I haven't been able to get it untangled as of yet. Um, but you can see it's got the little aluminum roses on it that we like. And the, the stems and the bow are kind of cheesy, but I can color those with alcohol ink. So I went ahead and got that. And then I found a bag of these cute little vintage buttons. Um, all kinds of them. Here's one's flower shaped. and So I grabbed that one. And let me get that other box here. I picked these up, and these are really fun. And what these are, they look like flat back pearls, but they're actually be or they're actually snaps. They're so on snaps. So those will be fun to play around with. And these are little, I don't know if you can see them. Let me take these out for you. There we go. Now you can see them. These are little blue rosebuds. And for the nickel or dime or whatever I paid for them, I decided I could try to... They're on little hair twist pins. You twist them into your hairdos is the idea. I'm going to cut the wire off, throw it away, and see what I can do with those. And then I picked up these. And what these are are little antique belt buckles, ladies' belt buckles. You can see on the back there's the buckle. And they're metal, and they've got little rhinestones on them. But I just thought those were really, you know, they're, they're naturally beat up and worn, so what more do you need? But they were really cool looking, so I picked those up. I like those. <clears throat> and I found these two old gentlemen's coin purses. I got both of these for a dollar. And really old. You can see they were well used. And this one even, if you look closely, it has been mended because this, the coin purse part was put onto the frame with little metal rivets. Well, if you open it up and you look, you can see that on each side it has been stitched back together by hand. So it was hand mended to get just a little more use out of this little man's coin purse. And I just think those are cool. Those will go on a mini, on a page, on a project somewhere. And along those same lines, what this is, you guys, this is the orig one of the original little mechanical pencils that a lady would have carried in her purse. And it would have been in a set, which the set is obviously I don't have. But it's this kind of a pencil. And, of course, now you push the bottom and the lead comes out the tip. With the first ones, you turned it. You can see this turns. And you would have turned it to push the lead out. And I just thought that was cool. And along with that, I found this little um, pill box. And again, the ladies would have carried these in their little purses. And it opens up. So I can put cute little things in there. Flowers, pictures, whatever. And I can put that on a page as well. And I really, I really thought those were special. And then I found these three little things here. And the gal had 50 cents a piece marked on them. And I said, well, if I take all three, can I, will you give them to me for a buck? <laughs> so I saved a whole 50 cents there. But these are long, dangly earrings. And I am not likely to wear anything that looks like this. Let's turn this one over. There you go. But I can take these apart and have charms. And I thought they would make really pretty charms. I really like the pink. There's the pink one. So I got a pink one, a blue one, and then the green one here. So I thought those were cute. Those would make cute charms. And what else did I drag home? Um, oh, one of my local Stampin' Up! demonstrators. Oh, one more thing before I move on from the little things. I did find something actually yesterday for Jill's mom. And I don't know if you guys if you guys watch Jill's channel, you've heard 
You've probably heard her mention that her mom collects elephants. I found this little tiny crystal elephant charm. It actually has a spot there you can hang it. And it was just too darling, little fat elephant. It was just too darling not to get for her mom, so I'll be sending that to Jill for her mother. And I think that should be all the little stuff. Um, well, as I was started to say, one of my local Stampin' Up! Uh, representatives had a garage sale, and she had quite a bit of stuff out there, you guys. This is all I bought because she had quite a few ink pads and reinkers and pens and things. I don't want to start collecting anything else. I have my Distress inks, and I have my Adirondack inks, and I'm happy with what I have. I don't want or need to start another collection. So... And this set I got specifically for my smash book. <clears throat> and it's got, it's the Celebrate collection. And then this one says Friendship, Your Day, Time To, You, um, Good Times, Today, and Life. And I really like that one, so I got that. I haven't decided if I'm going to leave these mounted or unmounted <coughs> yet. The little ones are kind of small to unmount, so I'll have to decide. And then I got this set, and it is called Elegant Ornaments. And these are really, really pretty. Hang on here. There, now you can see them. Really pretty stamps. I really like those, so I picked those up. Um, I think I paid like $3 a set for these. So very reasonably priced on the stamps. And I picked up these two metal baskets. And I've seen these at, at Hobby Lobby and not bought them because I thought they were way overpriced. I think this big one was like $30. And I just wasn't willing to give $30 for a wire fruit bowl. And then I also got the smaller one on the pedestal. I paid 50 cents for both of these. So these um, are probably going to stay in my stamp room. I'll probably put some wood mount, my wood mounted stamps in one of them. I don't have a lot, so one would be plenty. And a couple more things I picked up, and these are not scrap related, but I'm going to show them to you anyway. Um, I got this bracelet, and there was a gentleman there. Let me zoom in. There was a gentleman there. Um, a retired man and his wife and he makes these just for fun and this bracelet was three dollars is all I paid for it and they're glass beads and then there's little pretty spacers but I just thought it was so pretty and when I tried it on it was too big it actually fell off my hand so he sat there in about two minutes and made it small enough to fit my wrist so it wasn't falling off of me and I really like it because I can wear it with you know, jeans or whatever. And then I picked up this cheesy, really shiny sterling ring. Um, and I like that. So I thought I'd show you that. <coughs> and the last thing I got yesterday were these um, Add and Stack audio cassette storage units. And I bought these thinking that I could and put my... Um, Sizzix dies in them, my regular dies. I didn't know if they'd fit or if they wouldn't fit. Well, oh, sorry. Well, I've since found out my even my regular Sizzix dies are too wide. They won't fit. But I was talking to Jill about these last night. And if you look, these will hold the Adirondack inks, but they're just a little, they're just, they would work if you wanted to use them for that. But I had her measure her Stampin' Up! ink pads because they're a little wider yet. And these will fit the Stampin' Up! ink pads. And there are four of them. There's two here that are separate. And you can see they slide together on the sides. And then there's two that are already hooked together that I didn't unhook because I wanted to show you what they look like. And they mount to the wall. They've got hangers built right in so you can mount them to the wall. And if someone would like to have these, I do not need any more ink pad storage than what I've got. My caddy holds 100 pads, and that's plenty. 
I've got lots of open space. So if somebody wants these either for your Adirondacks or your Stampin' Up or whatever inks you have and want to use them for, if you are willing to pay the shipping for them, you can have them. That's all I ask is if you want them and you're willing to pay the shipping, I'll send them to you. If you want them, send me a private message. The first private message takes them. Okay? But that's it, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for leaving me comments and messages. If there's anything you want to see me do or make, please holler. I do have a tutorial coming up um, for the gold edge embossing that I showed on my last mini. If there's, I've had several requests for that. So if there's anything else you'd like to see me do, just give me a shout and I'll get it done for you. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Thanks. Bye-bye.